Hi, my name is Amelia Lindberg. I'm a physical therapist in New York City. And this is my second video in a series of three videos that I decided to make as a public service to help people during this crazy time of COVID-19. As you probably know by now, COVID-19 is a respiratory virus. The more we can do to improve our lung health, the faster we can recover from this virus. Postural drainage is a technique that healthcare professionals use in order to facilitate maximum aeration to the different parts of the lungs. Healthy lung function depends on a delicate balance between air getting into our lungs and blood getting into the lung tissues. Our lungs are also dependent upon gravity. Depending on where your lungs are positioned in space, the top part of your lungs will receive the most air, the bottom part of your lungs will receive the most blood. So if you take a look at this pillow, like this, top getting the most air, bottom most blood into the tissues of the lungs. If I tilt it, top getting the most air, bottom getting the most blood. You get the idea. In addition, Gravity can help us with the loosening of mucus. So by changing the position of our body, breathing deeply in those different positions, we can loosen up some of the mucus that may be hindering our alveoli, which are the tiny little sacs in our lungs that help us to process air and to get oxygen circulating in our system. When we cough up that mucus, it allows the alveoli to do their job and therefore our lungs function more healthily. The tricky thing about COVID-19 is that coughing has become a bad thing. However, coughing is crucial to keeping our lungs healthy, especially when they're compromised by a virus. Obviously, you want to be respectful, cover your cough, wash your hands, be aware that when you cough, the droplets can spread as far as 10 feet from where you are sitting. So disinfect any surfaces that may be affected by your coughing. Now let's get to it. The postural drainage positions we will do are side lying, bridging, and downward dog. I will also demonstrate each of these positions in a modified fashion. In order to be the most effective, when we are in these various positions, it's important to take long, slow, deep breaths, like the kind I described in my first video. Remember that as you're doing your long, slow, deep breaths, when you get to maximum inhalation, it's important to pause and hold that inhalation for two seconds, and then exhale completely. The reason why we do that hold is so that the lungs remain in an inflated state and it allows for any mucus to loosen as well as allows for the alveoli to fully open. Now let's get to it. The first exercise we will do is side lying. Lying on your side, place one hand on your belly and just as we've discussed before, you are gonna take a long, slow, deep inhale. Imagine breathing in through a straw. I'm gonna perform two deep breaths, lying on one side and two deep breaths lying on the other side. The second position is in a bridging position. Lying on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor, you're gonna raise up and take two long, slow, deep breaths, remembering to hold your breath two seconds between inhale and exhale, like this.
notice that when I'm in this position, this part of my lungs is the topmost, this part of my lungs is the bottommost. Remember how we talked about the top will get the most air and the bottom will get the most blood relating to its position in gravity. When we were sidelined, this side is getting the most air, this side getting the most blood. When I side lie this way, this side is getting the most air. Now the last position is a downward dog position. I'm going to raise my hips to the air and hang my head to the ground. And I'm gonna take two breaths, two deep breaths in this position. The downward dog position for breathing can be modified by coming onto all fours and then going down onto your elbows and performing the deep breathing there. Both the bridging and the downward dog positions can be modified using a couch cushion. To mimic the downward dog position, you're gonna lie on the cushion with your hips on the cushion and your upper body off the cushion. So creating a slight angle where you'll do your deep breathing. breath in. Even though the angle is very slight, even that slight bit of change in position of the lungs versus gravity can have an impact. Similarly, if you're unable to bridge up, you're gonna place the couch cushion under your hips and lie back so that your upper body goes off of the cushion, creating a slight angle. And again, you'll do your deep breathing here. Deep breath in. So you see that simply by changing our position, we can change what part of our lungs are getting the most air. My next video will be a simple tutorial on how to assist someone with simple chest physical therapy techniques to improve their respiratory function. In the meantime, sing like nobody's listening, add some comedy to your daily routine, and learn that dance move you've always wanted to master. Thank you.